aside from that. All right, Scores is going to hate us so much when he, when he watches this later on. But we're hopping into the match right now. And this, this okay, so this matchup used to be a staple of Foundry back when we were coming on band in the early days. Yes. It was Trevante, Scores, they would talk the most mess to each other. What but, happened to those days? Oh, we got eSports. No, I'm kidding. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> No, nah, but we're hopping in right now. Great punish coming out of Trayvante. You know, he's letting him know, yo, that fair is not safe. Come get these up tilts. Right now, Trayvante doing a phenomenal job punishing Lanix, just like he was doing in the previous game. Oh, and still keeping this pressure up. Finally, Scourge touches ground after like 20 seconds. All right, yo, so we're just going to be careful with a lot of these homing attacks, because Trayvante will eventually catch on to get a really solid punish, aside from just an air. Mm -hmm. Especially if you spot dodge that sucker and Sonic touches the ground, he's got seriously like 30 frames of end oh, He can't do it. anything. Yeah, he is a sitting hedgehog. If I'm not mistaken, I think he can get a tipper out smash from it. I would not be surprised. All right, you know, it's still going on. Oh, I love the attempt right there from Trayvante. Ooh. I don't know what that grenade misinput. was. Misinput. Has to be misinput. I, I cannot fathom what on earth option was going to be covered by the reverse grenade in the middle of the air. All right, back up. Not quite taking the stock yet. He'll put some good percent. I don't know where Trevante is going, but he is chic. He's, He's going to be able to recover. The backer <laughs> sending him out and bouncing fish off the stage, catching the recovery of Scourge. That move is really, really good. That move is super good. So, okay, so it's not even just that move is good. Sheik is, is just a great character. So I was talking to Trevante. Yeah. A little, when, when I saw him, I was like, yo, what's up? And then I was like, you know what? I understand why, why you came here now and why you took your break. You, you made sure that everyone forgot what Sheik does <laughs> so you could come out here and remind them, that, you know, yo, Sheik's kind of broken. You cannot breathe. Nice, nice spot dodge punish by... Uh, Scourge right there. And I have to wonder that, I mean, that's that's helped even more because Zex has gone out of the area, and I assume Trevante's probably been busy, not only with his job, but I'm assuming Breath of the Wild because he hasn't been busy with that. So it, it's a nice thing where without training, he's still been getting better against all the opponents because they just haven't been fighting Sheik. Nope. No, I mean, Trevante, you know, Trevante is that Overwatch player. He's been on that non-stop, Ooh. but, you know, his aim was a little off with those needles. Gonna eat a back air for it. Yeah, nice. Ba like, the back air catching uh, Sheik's legs during the up air. Nice stuff. Oh, there we go. That mix-up again. Whether or not Scourge is going to opt for the homing attack is going to give him a little bit of a 50-50 on the, pro, uh, on the uh, offensive pressure scale. Oh, uh, man, I got that spring still at No, that was actually really good air dodge just coming out of Trayvon to get away from all, all that stuff. But now, jumping back up, trying to catch him with the bouncing fish. But Scourge, I love the way he is playing right now. Getting a little more defensive and not giving Trayvon the easy setups at the moment. Ooh, right there, just running right on into the fair. Ooh, what a great punish to that little yep. setup. I, I think Trevante was going for his own little tomahawk there. He ended up throwing the needles. He threw needles, and then he was and just falling straight to grab down. Right after, yeah. So yeah. I think that's what he was going for. Oh, the homing tag coming out again, but springing right out of it. Interesting. Really like it. <gasps> Almost getting the arrow, and, and the forward smash is going to do it! No R for you! Scourge taking the first game away from Trevante! Is this Scorch's night? It might very well be, Miho. I mean, we've seen crazier nights here at the Foundry, but I would never rule out Scourge being able to tap into his factor after months of leaving it untouched. And Andy yet again coming in. in with the Scourge factor. But you know what? One other thing to highlight. Er, I think it was yesterday. Yeah. Scourge ended up showing up on one of Astro's picture posts. That's rock, you know rocking the <laughs> rocking the headphones it's and whatnot. <laughs> it's it's the Astro bump. Yo, dude, he, he, he right got now. the buff. He was like, yo, Astro, I'm, I got I got this for y'all. You know, you put me in your pictures, I'm about to go get you some Ws. Ooh, the uh, Astro platform actually getting away of the homing attack mix-up, making him vulnerable for free for Trevante. All right, no, but Trevante ended up falling in that percent range where it's really tough for Sheik to seal out stocks. Because at 100 plus, Trevante and others, she just have to go ahead and read so hard to go ahead and try to get a conversion. Are more needles? I mean, that's the stuff, right? If you can cover Sonic Spin Dash with needles, it's going to beat it regardless of where he's at with it. Yeah, I mean, James is going back to old school NorCal. Right? Oh my. <laughs> the down air almost killing off the top. Great spin dash cancel to go ahead and get the grab. Up throw into the forward air. Some more percent. Scores only down by a tiny bit. I really like how he's mixing it up between doing the spin dashes and landing down with down air. Mm -hmm. Or he's just landing with air. He's, he's doing a really great job mixing up his... Because all those different moves have different timings where they even touch the ground. Ooh! 
Still alive though, Trevante whiffing that. That's still gonna kill the right afterwards. The amount of options she can cover, man, sometimes it feels not fair. Sometimes. Yeah. No, in that situation right there, he also got the reverse DI from the up air. He ended up getting the late hit of it. Oh, I did Cause, not. Because scores went straight up. Like there was no type of DI from there. <laughs> so from talking with Trevante, uh, he basically was letting me know that like when you delay uh, doing the up air and you get the later hits, then that's when your DI gets flipped. And that's how you go ahead and get stocks very early. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. See, that's that's the nasty stuff I wish they'd, they'd po put on the loading screens in this game. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, you got a DI mixed up out of nowhere. <laughs> but, hey, nonetheless, Trayvonti looking a lot cleaner here in the second game. But, hey, you never know. It was kind of looking diamond like that in the first game, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yo, I love how Scars is just standing up right after. Like, he he himself felt it. <laughs> so, Sonic's counter pick. Now, I assume, because I know Trevante hates Lilat just because it's a, it's a dumb stage, as he says. Yes. Doesn't I, want I completely with. agree with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that might mean we just might get straight up FD, and we are getting straight up FD right now from Scourge. Game three. Can he do it? Can he take out the currently ranked number one in NorCal? Is the Scourge Factor that strong, or has it finally run out, Miho? I don't know. We definitely have to go ahead and see what is going to happen. Here, the FD pick is a double-edged sword, because one, you know, Sonic has enough room to go ahead and run around, do his spin dashes, use that speed to his advantage, but there's nowhere for him to land. If Trayvante can go ahead and just deny him the stage, you know, he might be in the driver's seat as well, but so far, very even game. Ooh, nice little string there. Unable to get into the real nasty damage, though. Scourge able to escape and still keeping on this neutral. <laughs> All right, late, late covered, hit in there. Yeah, it, it covers so many different things. Really nice move in his kit. And ooh, once again, unable to punish the air dodge with the dare. That's the second time he's gone for it this set. No, he was actually a little late doing the dare. He didn't really trust himself because he saw Trayvante not air dodge immediately. Mm -hmm. Great punish right there from Trevante, letting Scourge know that that auto cancel down air is not safe. I mean, you think it would be, right? Because it's auto cancel, but. I don't know. She, she, a little <laughs> she, she, she's pretty good. She's a pretty dang good character. All right, back air. Ooh. And another back air. That should seal up the stock. Scourge! In the Taking lead it right now, but we have seen Trevante do things before. I know better than to rule him out, but that up B, very inspired, getting him out of that situation nice and quick. No, because Trayvante ended up going for the up smash, as I was saying before. That was really great shield pressure, crossing up immediately after the nair, getting the grab on the shield, and right there, trying to get another grab immediately after landing, facing the wrong way. Scourge now, not dead, not mixed up by that DI on the up air. The score is holding onto it now, trying to get another spin dash. And Trayvante letting out the needles in the opposite direction. That actually would have been a beautiful conversion Ooh, if you did it the other way. A little bit of a spring hit, the F air not going to kill. Fair, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. And he drops shield into of all, the F-Smash. Of all moves, forward smash coming off from Trayvante to go ahead and seal up that stock. But another spring coming from Scorch and a bouncing fish trying to seal it up right there. If Scorch is able to go ahead and play how he was in that first stock, go ahead and make it very well. If you look at Trayvante's style game. right now, he is playing extremely jittery. He goes in maybe for one poke and immediately backs out. Now this time he finds a poke, gets a couple little conversions, keeping up his pressure. Landing forward air. So what Trayvante actually should start doing now that this is getting a really close tense game, where are the needles, my man? Start throwing them out. You can go ahead and just stuff Sonic whenever you want. But hey, when you want to cover these down airs instead, that works just as well. But another backer coming from Scorch. Keeping up this pressure on the jump get up. And I mean, here becomes the big question. When it's time to kill Trevante, he's going to offer something else. And can Scorch reach that option? No, and Scourge getting too happy with a couple of these homie attacks. Great landing with the Nair! How was he not picked up by an smash? I thought the man was dead. He air dodged. All right, dash attack, sending Scourge off stage. And I would love, actually, for Scourge to go ahead and slow it down a little bit. This is such a tense situation, but, you know, both of these men are going to keep going in. Scourge right now. Oh, you see Trevante try to... And he got the air dodge! And Scourge is taking it over Trevante! Scourge Factor is real! Scourge moving on to winner's final! Scourge Factor! Scourge Factor! Going on against Shaky next. He is taking a drink out of his energy drink. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Andy.
Guys, if you could do us a solid, can you can you go on Twitter, give our boy Scourge a shout?